Have you ever experienced the thrill of being surrounded by nature's beauty? For Mark and Jacqueline, it was their passion. They had planned the perfect anniversary trip to the Mississippi Provincial Park in northern Ontario, Canada. But what was meant to be a celebration of love and nature turned into a nightmare that no one could have predicted. In this gripping story, we'll uncover the tragedy that befell Mark and Jacqueline as they face unexpected and terrifying encounter with a black bear. But that's not all, as we'll also see how Mark's heroic action saved Jacqueline's life, but at what cost. Stay tuned until the end to find out more about this unforgettable tale of resilience, love, and loss. Let's get started! Residing in Cambridge, a city in Ontario, Canada, they were familiar with the demands of modern life, both holding vital roles in their respective professions. Despite the demanding nature of their jobs, Mark and Jacqueline remained true to their love for nature, and Mark even volunteered as a scout leader. To celebrate their anniversary, the couple decided to venture into the remote backcountry of Missanabee Lake Provincial Park, located in northern Ontario. They sought a secluded spot in the heart of nature to commemorate not only their marriage, but also Jacqueline's recent acceptance of a part-time position at the emergency department of Cambridge Memorial Hospital, which she was due to start in less than a month. Mark and Jacqueline eagerly embarked on a two-week vacation with a grand plan of camping and kayaking. They were well aware of the incredible beauty that Ontario had to offer, just like any other residents of the province. Their chosen destination was Misasagi Provincial Park, located in the vast northern Ontario region. Northern Ontario makes up a staggering 90% of Ontario's total area, and its population is scarce, with only 6% of Ontario's population residing in this region. The land is mostly covered by the boreal forest, making it a nature lover's paradise. However, traveling to remote areas in northern Ontario can be dangerous especially for inexperienced travelers or those unlucky enough to encounter unforgiving backcountry. Mississauga Provincial Park was an ideal escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life, offering peace and tranquility in abundance. The park is situated at the center of Shoplow's Crown Game Preserve, which is a preserve for fur-bearing animals located northeast of Lake Superior. The Mississippi River runs through the park, stretching over 310 miles and boasting several lakes, magnificent waterfalls, and thrilling whitewater rapids that are perfect for kayaking enthusiasts. The park has numerous campsites and canoe sites, making it an excellent destination for camping enthusiasts. Wildlife thrives in the park, and visitors can observe a variety of animals in their natural habitat. Mississauga Provincial Park is a must-visit for those seeking an adventure in the wilderness, away from the chaos of modern life. The park's stunning natural beauty, combined with its abundant wildlife and thrilling activities, make it an unforgettable experience for visitors. Mark and Jacqueline were passionate nature enthusiasts who loved nothing more than spending time in the great outdoors. They had carefully selected a secluded backcountry campsite on the Mississippi Lake, which provided the perfect blend of intimacy and excitement. With Mark's experience as a scout leader and their shared love of hiking, the couple felt confident in their ability to navigate the wilderness and fend for themselves. To reach their chosen spot, Mark and Jacqueline had to drive north to the park and then paddle their way to the campsite in a kayak. Once there, they spent their days exploring the natural beauty around them, breathing in the fresh air and relishing the opportunity to stretch their muscles. They were happy and content, enjoying each other's company and the serenity of the wilderness. But on Tuesday, September 6, 2005, everything changed. There were no warning signs, no indication that anything was amiss. Mark and Jacqueline went about their day as usual, preparing dinner at their campsite in the remote region near Lake Mississippi. Suddenly, disaster struck. In the blink of an eye, their peaceful existence was shattered and replaced with a desperate fight for survival. The details of what happened next are unclear, but what is known is that the couple faced unimaginable challenges in their battle to stay alive. Despite their love for each other and their shared determination to make it through the ordeal, the odds were against them. In the end, their efforts were in vain and their dream of spending a lifetime together was cut tragically short. The events of September 6, 2005 serve as a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of the wilderness and the importance of being prepared for the unexpected. For Mark and Jacqueline, their love of nature ultimately led to their untimely demise, 
but their legacy lives on as a cautionary tale for others who venture into the great outdoors. Mark Jordan and his wife Jacqueline were enjoying a peaceful camping trip in the wilderness until an unexpected and terrifying encounter changed everything. A black bear appeared out of nowhere, and to their horror, it displayed predatory behavior towards them. The bear attacked with lightning speed, leaving Jacqueline pinned to the ground and dragging her toward the bush with the clear intention to kill her. Mark was left in shock and disbelief at the sight of his beloved wife being taken away from him by an apex predator. Despite the danger in his injuries, Mark was determined to save Jacqueline at all costs. His instincts kicked in and he knew that he had to show the bear who was in charge. He remembered that black bears could be scared off if they were confronted by something bigger and fiercer than them. Mark took on the challenge, knowing that he had to fight the bear head on. Without hesitation, Mark charged at the bear, grappling it into a headlock and punching it repeatedly in the head. His actions caused the bear to drop Jacqueline and focus its attention on him instead. Despite suffering severe lacerations and nerve damage from the bear's claws and jaws, Mark continued his attack with fierce determination. He used his Swiss army knife to stab the bear multiple times, finally causing the animal to retreat, wounded. Although Mark had succeeded in saving Jacqueline's life, his own ordeal was far from over. He was left with serious injuries that required urgent medical attention. Nonetheless, he had acted bravely and selflessly in the face of danger, risking his own life to protect the woman he loved. Mark's quick thinking and courageous actions undoubtedly saved Jacqueline's life and earned him a place in the annals of heroic feats. Jacqueline lay motionless on the ground, her body racked with pain and fear. Her injuries were severe and she desperately needed medical attention. But the remote location of the campsite made it impossible for rescuers to reach her quickly. Her husband Mark knew that time was of the essence if he was going to save her. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, he scooped Jacqueline up into his arms and started sprinting toward the kayak. As he ran, he felt his own wounds begin to bleed, but he pushed the pain aside and focused on getting his wife to safety. Once they reached the kayak, he climbed in and began to paddle with all his might, his heart pounding in his chest as he called out for help. For what felt like an eternity, Mark paddled desperately, his mind consumed with fear and uncertainty. But then, a miracle happened. Two hikers, a father and son from Pennsylvania, heard its cries for help and rushed to his aid. Despite having fought off a black bear themselves just hours before, they didn't hesitate to assist Mark in his time of need. Together, the three men paddled for an additional 90 minutes until they came across a pontoon boat with an off-duty police officer and a doctor from North Carolina on board. With the doctor's help, they did everything in their power to save Jacqueline's life, but despite their heroic efforts, she passed away before they could make it to the park office. Mark was devastated by the loss of his beloved wife, but he remained by her side, praying for a miracle. He himself had suffered multiple injuries in the attack, including lacerations, puncture wounds, and severed nerves. The doctors worked tirelessly to save his life, but they had to take precautions to prevent infection before they could operate. Despite the tragedy that had unfolded, Mark's courage and determination in the face of danger inspired all who had witnessed his heroic efforts. Even in the darkest of times, he remained focused on doing whatever it took to save his wife, and his unwavering bravery would never be forgotten. In the meantime, the search for the bear and the other campers was initiated by the police and park workers. However, as visitors were not obligated to inform the park officials about their entry, the staff was uncertain about the number of people they needed to search for. On September 10th, four days after the assault, the Ministry of Natural Resources put down a black bear, which was deemed responsible for the fatal attack. The bear was discovered, shot, and killed close to the location of the attack. It was a young male with a neck injury, possibly inflicted by Mark's knife. Following his hospitalization, Mark Jordan received 300 stitches for his injuries and was discharged. Governor General Michael Jong awarded him the Star of Courage two years later, in 2007. In an interview, Mark expressed remorse for not killing the bear and stated that receiving the Star of Courage would help keep Jacqueline Perry's memory alive. The story of Mark and Jacqueline is a tragic reminder of the unpredictable and unforgiving nature of the wilderness. However, it is also a story of resilience, bravery, and selflessness. Mark's heroic actions in the face of danger saved his wife's life, and his courage and determination inspired all who witnessed his incredible efforts. 
but this story also serves as a warning to all of us who venture into the great outdoors. While it's essential to appreciate and enjoy nature, we must also be aware of its potential dangers and be prepared for the unexpected. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.